What is going on guys? My name is XC and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. You are absolutely going to love what you're going to see. So today we're going to be talking about the very first mod you should put on any Hellcat, any Red Eye. It does not matter. I don't care if it's new or used. And that of course is the leg maker intake. Why an intake? Well, as for anybody that knows about these blowers, these superchargers, 2.4 liter, 2.7 liter, it doesn't matter. They sound so amazing from factory as it is. I personally love the sound of it more than the exhaust on these cars. But when you put the leg maker intake on there, the whine is just so much more louder it's insane i mean you're driving down the road and you got people that are in that walmart parking lot staring at your car trying to figure out what that sound is coming from Damn! and this is awesome i personally love it i did it on my track hawk i did it on my other hellcat and today we're going to do it on my 2021 uh dodge charger wide body red eye and it literally takes just a few minutes so it's super simple anybody can do it unplug a few clamps unplug a few sensors and you're all set so without further ado guys let's get this video going all right, so the first thing I want to do, guys, of course, is we got to get this thing on the road. So that way you see or you hear what the stock intake sounds like. Like I said, it sounds glorious already. You're going to love it. It sounds so freaking good at any RPMs. It does not matter. And for anybody that's been watching the channel, we did get the Ram TRX as well. So that is a brand new 2021. So we are going to try to get both cars to 1,000 horsepower. Now, why are we not putting an intake on the uh, TRX? And that's because, well, nobody has one out right now. They just don't make it. The way that intake is made, it literally takes up half the engine bay because it got little different like chambers and compartment so it's kind of been a little bit harder to work with and most people recommend keeping the stock crx intake anyway so we're going to mess with that one later but for now let's get this on the road let's see what it sounds like and then when we come back we're going to slap it on and take it for another ride as well and also we got a lot of parts that came in for these uh for the red eye itself so we do have a few cosmetic things like we got the rear diffuser i know some of you guys will hate me for it but i kind of love it i want it to stand out i want to be different um we got the rear spoiler as well the wicker bill so we got to install that we do have a differential brace four inch dss drive shaft as well these suckers are known for making drive shafts look like twizzlers so <laughs> that's the first thing i'm going to fix on that car because i had a hellcat with 800 wheel before and i went through two drive shafts well i went through one i had a red light literally pulling away and it just snapped it and then uh when i traded it in the next guy bought it snapped it within a week as well so i know this one probably won't last long but since we got these radios uh, i think it's the et street or 315s 35 17s so i meant to get the 35 50 17s but actually i'm going to purchase the wrong ones they should still work though i'm not too worried about it and because we got the slicks we had to get the drive shaft because the stock drive shaft will not last long with these tires we also got some four star wheels that should be here any single minute so i'm so excited because i want to see what those look like first time ever putting b-lock wheels on the car and we're definitely going to be tracking this thing as well as the truck as well in the next video we're actually putting the uh, ram trx on the dyno so that's going to be fun um can't wait to see what that does and what kind of numbers it puts down um all wheel drive dynos are always a little bit harder to find but anyways guys let's get this thing on the road and let's go have some fun all right guys so right now i'm gonna just drive it normally right back roads so you can kind of hear the noise the wine it sounds amazing now it sounds glorious don't get me wrong i love it like it's just 2.7 liter supercharger or a, even a whipple if you put it on a, a mustang or whatever it's it's gonna whine it's gonna sound amazing but with the stock intake Wait till you hear the leg maker. I personally feel like you will be able to hear a difference. I know I will in person. That's why I always did on the track hawk. I did it on my other Hellcat. It just sounds so much better. So much louder too. Performance wise, I don't think it actually adds anything, but the noise is what we're going for. Sounds so good. So good, man. Golly, 6.2 liter V8 is a massive motor. And with that big 2.7, man, golly, dude, it, it, it always sounds good. Yeah, that's a monster. Oh, I can't wait to put that leg maker on. So let's get this thing back to the house and let's, uh, let's see what that sounds like. All right, guys, so now that we're back from the road and you know what it sounds like, let's see what we came in the box from uh, Leg Maker directly from them. Uh, so, of course, you got the carbon fiber uh, inlet pipe, I guess you can call it. Super sick. I love it, man. That's actual, like, true carbon fiber. Let me see if I get the sucker to come out. I love the way they make it. Like, it's custom made, and every one of them is always different. But, geez, that looks amazing. Some say that it does help with the colder intake air temps. So, the cool thing about this car is we don't have to worry about the intake cooling off the air or having cold air going to the motor in order to get better horsepower out of it 
because this being a red eye, you actually have um, chiller already built in, which reroutes the AC free on or something like that and cools off the supercharger, which is perfect. That's what you want, especially when you're drag racing. But what comes in the box, like I said, is the intake inlet itself. Of course, you got the filter and then you got the, um, oh, you got a sticker, guys. I might be one of those dudes that puts it on there on the plastic piece. I might do it. Of course, you got the clamps. It is super, super easy to do this, guys. All you do is you unplug this. Um, I think it's like the EGR evaporator or something like that uh, hose. And then you got the one sensor on here and then literally just one clamp. I think we'll have to take both clamps off because you can't take it off as one piece. It's a little too tight in here, but we're not going to be using this plastic piece either. But without further ado, guys, let's just jump on it real quick and slap that sucker on. That sucked. So on these 2019s plus, this is like a different location also for this hose. And this is clamped a lot tighter, man. That sucked. I actually had to get a, a heat gun in order to do it right. That's the first one. And good thing, the cool thing about it is leg maker intake actually gave you instructions. It says 2019 present chargers. Uh, there is an adjustment on the intake location or the hose location. So thank you for that. I also would have never figured it out. So that made it easier. Yeah, you definitely got to warm it up or else this sucker will not come off. What sucks about the chargers is that you don't have a lot of space, a lot less space than the Challenger does because the Challenger has a long front nose. So you gotta unhook the coolant uh, tank and you really gotta move it back as much as possible. Reason being is that this intake uh, collector or whatever you wanna call it, it's actually attached or goes slides into the front of the bumper where the intake, uh, I guess the, the air comes from. So it's a one piece and you can't really just unhook it from there. So that's what makes it really hard. Most people actually end up breaking that inlet hose or inlet pipe, which sucks, and I'm not trying to do that, but one person job is a lot harder to do it by yourself, that's for sure, because I can see where it snaps off to release it. I might have to take this actual intake off as well. Screw it, might as well save myself the trouble, so get a little Allen in there. Oh, you're kidding. Not to worry, I got my trusty little grabber in here. Not the first time I've done that, or the last. Haha, <laughs> that's what I thought, winning. Slide this bad boy out, and that'll make it a lot easier to do everything else we need to do. For example, sliding this sucker out. Now what I was saying is you got this little, right there you can kind of see it. Right here is the little inlet pipe. So you gotta actually pretty much squeeze these in. That way you can slide this sucker out right here. So let's see what we can do. Just like they talked about, this is definitely in the way. But if we move it like this, a lot harder to do it by yourself but that makes it more fun I guess come on come on there it is there it goes yes all right we'll put the sucker back on there this is what I'm talking about that right there slides on to the air inlet and then that's where the intake sits now let's put the expansion tank back in there like it was never touched whoo suckers no joke all right, so like I said, it does give you everything. You got the rubber clamp as well that goes on here and then into the throttle body as well. So it's always a good fit. I've never had fitting issues with them. One thing you want to pay attention to is you got this little, I don't know what to call it, um, but it does sometimes rub against the intake. So you want to kind of tighten it and make sure this isn't holding it. That's the old holding spot for the uh, factory intake. So you want to adjust that and you also want to rotate this to face the uh, the clamp that we're putting on here, of course. The old school one, that was a pain. So. Should be a lot easier now, no problem at all. So let's go ahead and put a clamp on that. Let's put it on this way. Make it easier to get it on and off. Just like that. It is a 10. 
All right guys, so it took a little bit of work to get both clamps on. This one is as far up as I can get it. They're both about the same size, but this one of course has to go on a little bit of a higher or more uh, larger width uh, inlet. So it, it sucks, but I got it on there as much as I could. I don't think it's gonna blow off. It's definitely sitting on the carbon fiber intake, just not on this side like I would like it to, but I'm not too worried about it. And I went ahead and put the air filter on as well, make it a little bit easier on us. So that way once I slide it back on, that's it. There's nothing else extra that it needs. So we just gotta tighten this clamp down as well, but I wanna make sure fits well before I do all that so it does look like it's gonna be a perfect fit like I said make sure it doesn't rub here so adjust it accordingly and of course make sure the hood closes so I'm gonna have to be very I guess tight when it comes to making sure it all fits and the hood closes as well but we should be able to get it completely on there so now it's all about just tightening everything down and uh, you're you're all set that's all it takes all right that sucker's not going anywhere that's for sure Let's tighten this one down as well the best we can, but you don't want to be too tight so you don't crack the actual carbon fiber. Keep in mind it is pretty much a fabric material, so you don't want to over tighten it too much, just in, enough for it to feel very snug on there. That should be definitely very good. Like I said, it's tight already as it is, so I'm not worried about it coming off, and it's very, very sturdy, so that's a plus. We are rubbing a little bit here, guys, so we're going to have to figure out what to do there. It's barely touching, but it is on the rubber boot, so... I'm not too worried about it. It's not the actual carbon fiber or anything, so it's it's sitting right there touching it a little bit. We might have to play a little bit with the adjustment, but I'm not too worried about it. Now, wait a minute. What is coming down the hill? What? UPS truck? All right, what do we have here? I know what we have here, but I'm super excited. So, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ford Star. What I'm confused about is there should be two of these packages, but the UPS guy said, nope, just one today. So, I don't know what happened to my order. I definitely ordered two of them. So now I'm gonna have to reach out to them and see what happened to my other uh, wheel, but... Oh my God, look at that. First time ever really messing with beadlock wheels. So, dude, this is gonna be so sick. Oh, I'm so pumped. It's like Christmas, but every single day right now. <laughs> dude, look at that. So that's the beadlock, I guess the actual front oh, lip of the tire, I don't know how to call it. And then of course this is the actual tire wheel itself. Come on now, yeah buddy, wow. Dude, that is sick. Now the reason we did with 17s, of course, you want as much meat as possible on that uh, on the ground. So the bigger the tires, the better. Dude, what? Look at that, let's place it nicely on here. Yes, sir. Oh my God, dude. Imagine that on the back of the charger. Dude, that's gonna look so sick. Some 17 sitting there. Oh man, traction for days. I can't wait. Now we gotta figure out where the second one went. But anyways, let's finish this intake install and go from there. Let's finish up this install real quick. Where is our flat head? Final few touches and then we'll get this bad boy on the road. Should be good there. Put this in here, put this in here. Yep, definitely need it. There we go. Okay, now, where is our sensor? We just had it here, I'm very confused. What did I do with my sensor? There it is. Okay, we've gotta take the old one out, of course. Super easy, it just pops out. It's gotta bend it and twist a little bit, not to break it, but it's got a little sleeve on there. So that's the actual, I think the mass airflow sensor, I could be wrong, but what we do is, of course, we'll just stick it very, very closely and uh, accurately and perfectly in there make sure that o-ring stays on there so you don't lose that that uh, is very important once you pretty much just kind of screw it in there all right we should be all set so now all we do plug in the center and we should be good now it's a little bit sit up high but that should be fine i think the hood should close well so let's try that out real quick hopefully we have no issues with that i think we should be good a little bit on the intake let's see if adjust that a little bit wow that sucker's still on there pretty tight let's just turn this a little bit there we go that feels a lot more safer and the intake is also facing down which is good so now we won't have any issues with it touching the hood or rubbing or breaking or anything i would not want to have those check engine lights come on god that looks look, just looks so much more cleaner so much more nicer we're gonna have to adjust a little bit there so it doesn't really rub, but I don't think we'll have that big of an issue there, but everything says good. I may have to adjust a little bit because that's a little too tight on there. So we'll figure all that out. I'm not worried, but let's start this bad boy up. No check engine lights on, please. Here we go. Nothing sounds any different, which is always a positive. Let's give it a little bit of gas, see if we can hear that intake. 
Ooh, oh my god! You can hear that suction, man. Hold on. It's like parum. Oh my god, can you hear that? Dude, oh, this is about to be so much fun. All right, let's get this sucker on the road. You're gonna be able to tell the difference. I can promise you that right now. So, so without further ado, guys, let's go tear up some tires. Ooh, you can even hear it in the low RPMs now. Very low RPMs. Oh, this is about to be so much fun. We gotta behave ourselves because this is the neighborhood I live at, so you don't wanna upset all them neighbors. And we'll just be, oh, yes. Can you hear that? It sounds like a vacuum. Wow, that is literally doing 25 miles an hour. 3,000, 3,500, wow. That is such a big difference now in noise and, and wine. Dude, oh my God, I love it. But guys, I'm telling you, this has to be the first thing you do. No doubt, like no doubt in my mind, period. It's like $450, I think, for leg maker intake. Changes the whole sound. There is other ones out there like JLT, um, Aero something, I forgot, but I've always went with leg maker, guys. They've never let me down. Super easy installation, like we talked about. I mean, literally three clamps, two uh, sensors, I guess you can say, you're done. A little bit of adjustment with taking the old intake pipe, whatever you wanna hold it, hold her down or out of the, uh, of the bay, but besides that, it's, that's it, man. But I gotta say, it feels like the throttle response is actually a little better, so. Dude. Wow. That is so much louder. <laughs> that's so sick. I'm not even doing anything. I'm literally cruising right now. Oh, I can't wait to get on it. I'll bet you this thing's gonna scream. Dude, this is so sick. That's why I love doing it, 450 bucks changes it and you have to do an intake anyways when you modify so i mean you're pretty much getting a step ahead is what i the way i see it but holy crap bro <laughs> And like I said, guys, the stock one, completely functional, does what it's supposed to do, but when you put a leg maker on, it's just... Dude, it's so sick. Like, even if you pop the hood and you're just idling, you can hear the air just getting sucked in, and that sound is just different, man. I'm telling you, like, you could be driving by right now on this main road, and people are just staring at you trying to figure out what, what just passed by them, because it just sounds so much better. I prefer it over exhaust, to be honest with you guys. It just sounds so different. That's what I love. It's something that sounds completely out of this world like it sounds like just a massive motor is flying by you right now that's ready to launch at any second so this is awesome we're going to give us some gas once we get on this road that's so stupid oh my god even when it downshifts it just whines wow that's so sick oh man i am smiling ear to ear Wow, that was so awesome. Dude, it changes it. I'm telling you, people like that BRZ that we just passed by was waving us down. Dude, that's so sick. Oh, yeah, buddy. Oh, my goodness. You just want to drive this thing, man. That's it. Just want to drive it, man, just to hear that whine. I'm a big fan. I like. I had GTRs. I had all kinds of cars. But when you get in this, man, I just love a blower sound, man. And like Pro Chargers, don't get me wrong, sound great. Whipples do too. But whatever design they used for this one is just amazing. It's just on another level, guys. I can't. I can't say it enough. I legitimately can't. So, oh, dude, we're gonna have so much fun with this car, guys. Like I said, we are getting into a thousand horsepower. Uh, we're working on getting some quotes right now. Since we got the intake and we're gonna do the drive shaft ourselves, the next part is super easy. It's injectors, pulley. We're gonna pin the crank, of course, and some tuning, and uh, pretty much that's it man that's all we need that's what makes it so simple and so much fun to work on mopars it doesn't require much money or time or you know just i don't know just so simple and i love it i'll right, we'll come around this corner we'll give it one more nice little solid pass here and go <laughs> dude this is so awesome Oh my God, I can't get enough. I cannot get enough of this freaking car. All right guys, we just got back and I completely forgot you gotta put one of these uh, air filter covers on. It's a little sleeve, I guess you can say, but it definitely helps to make sure that you don't get any of that dirt or anything on here that just sucks it in through the filter and into the motor. So it makes it last longer as well. So we gotta make sure we install that guys. And so let's just slap this bad boy on here and we'll be all good to go. Safer than ever, double the protection. That's all we can say, man. Can't go wrong with doubling the, <laughs> doubling the protection. That's what she said. It's almost on there. Just gotta play with that a little bit. Get it fully on there and I think we're almost there. 
come on slide slide doll it on there just got to get it over the uh the tip of the intake and that's it boys looks even better as well so double the coverage god that, look at that carbon guys that is so clean so sick man custom made each intake is custom made wow it was really warm that sucker up <laughs> Everything is warm. Oh, and then of course we can't forget about this. The most important part of this whole installation, and of course, I think we'll, uh, we'll place it right about here. Represent a little bit of that leg maker intake, showing them who's boss and who runs it and who puts the best intakes on here. So let me, uh, give me one second, three, two, one. Boom, just like that, guys. Looks so sick. Eh, not bad, a little yellow on the, uh, with the green belt. So I like it, we got a little fashion going with purple and a cooler or a coolant. <laughs> so we got all kinds of colors under here, but that is so sick guys look at that carpet man seriously you can't go wrong with that i can't stop staring at it that is a good addition literally that is the best first addition for this car next of course will be the drive shaft which we'll install with the slicks and i gotta figure out what happened with the other wheel because i really want to see these on that car man that is so nice golly we got so much stuff coming for us so many uh, different things to put on as well we'll have a front lip by the way if anybody wants the uh, pink lip on there i will gladly give it to you guys we'll have side skirts as well that came in and we should have somewhere here the front lip also that came in for the car so a lot of a lot of stuff coming we're definitely going to make our own we're going to make it different i want the red eye to stand out not that it doesn't already but i want to make it a lexus car so when you see it you know who it is you know what's about to happen so it should be a lot of fun guys thank you so much for sticking around and watching like i said the trx is going on the dyno next that's going to be an epic video as well i would love to see what power puts down but so much happening guys so whoever just subscribed you're in for a lot of fun stuff for this whole year so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this installation and a little bit of uh, my life and everything that's going on it. But thank you so much. Enjoy your lives. Enjoy your cars. Enjoy your trucks. And I will see you next time. Peace.